In this video, I'm going to show you how to parse JSON with Power Virtual Agents. So the first thing you're going to need is some sample JSON. I'll put this sample JSON in the YouTube video description so that way you have it. However, what you'll look at here is this is a just a sample set. So if you just get all of it, copy it and paste it so that you can do copy and paste actions later, it'll be great. Now, if we look at it, you'll see in here that we've got some Booleans, we've got a value uh, set, and then we've got an array of information. The second thing you need is you need to have yourself a bot where you can play with this. Now, I've created a bot here that's a preview bot that does parse JSON is what I called it. Second thing is go create yourself just a blank topic within your bot. So we'll just go ahead and do that. Next, I'm just going to give myself a way to be able to uh, call it. Um, so I'll just call it demo here so that I can uh, have a way to trigger it for our demo. Next, I'm going to go and I'm going to set a variable value. Now, in this case, what I need to do is create a new uh, variable. And in this, I'm going to just set the JSON value that we had before. So this is just, we're going to call it sample JSON, for example. Now. What I'm going to do is in the value, I'm going to I'm just going to paste in the value that we had from our sample. But this is a place where you could call out to Power Automate and use a connector to be able to bring that in. But let's just go ahead and set the variable um, to this sample JSON that we have right here. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new node. And in this node, I'm going to use the new parse value node. And with the new parse value node, the first thing we want to do is we want to select the JSON that we want to parse. And in this case, we're going to select our sample JSON that we pasted in to a variable. The next thing is we'll look at the data types. And notice that these new data types, uh, we have a whole lot of different options. But in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select from sample data. Then I'll click this Get Schema from Sample JSON. And what I'm able to do here is just generate the schema directly from the sample. So in this case, we'll just paste in the JSON that we had already, and you'll see that it's in. Now with that, I could even edit the schema if I needed to later by clicking the Edit Schema button, but we're going to move forward. Now, save as, we're going to choose this to set a new variable. And we'll create this new variable, and we'll just call this new variable parsed JSON, for example, to be able to say this is where we're storing the parsed uh, output of the JSON that we have. Now, now that we've done that, I want to go ahead and add yet another uh, node within the conversation. And that node that I'm going to add, I'm just going to choose to set a variable uh, at this point. And this is going to be giving me the option to be able to say, OK, out of that JSON that's been parsed, I want to set some variables off of that. So in this case, what we'll do is we'll create a new variable. And one of the things that was in the, the JSON content was the count, right? So I'm going to just store one as count. And then I'm going to go to the value here. And I'm going to point to formula, because I want to create a formula that off of that parse JSON to set the value. Now we're going to use the type ahead here to be able to do this. You can see as soon as I do topic dot, I can say parsed JSON, for example, and then I can do another dot and I can do current count. Now with that, we've parsed the JSON, we've got the data and all of that. Now one thing that I want to do just to show the value is I'm going to send a message. And in the message, I'm going to come down and I'm just going to type in the current count is, and then let's just set the variable value as the, the next thing. And we'll just put a period here. Now, one last thing I'll do just to close it out. A lot of people forget to do this. Go to topic management, and I'm just going to end all topics at this point. Now, now I've done that, let's save it. Now that my topic is saved, what I'll do is I'll click test and I'll go in and I'm just going to type demo so that we can trigger this topic. And then 
we'll see the return come back with the information that was in the JSON that we had before. Now, let's play with this a little more. Let's go over and let's edit the set variable value where I had my formula before, but let's change that formula and let's play with this in a different way. So again, this is all power effects. So you can say first and then open parentheses and then do topic dot parse JSON dot. And then in this case, let's choose items. Now this is an array, so we're gonna close this and now we can use dot and you can see name and that allows us to be able to use the very first uh, of the array items as the name uh, value that was within it. And this will set that within the variable value. So we'll insert this and then we'll save it again real quick. And now that it's saved, what I'll do is I'll, I'll say demo again. And notice that now what we're doing is we will be returning back the value of the first item within the array. So I hope this was very useful. You can see that there's a lot of value that we can provide in this. Your ability to call out to Power Automate, be able to grab back a JSON package and push it down into a variable that you can use within your bot. And once you've parsed it, you can build all kinds of logic within your bot right off of the JSON without having to go and worry about reauthoring or changing the things that are inside of your Power Automate flow. So stay tuned to my video channel here. We are going to continue to do educational videos on all the new capabilities coming to Power Virtual Agents. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks.